Hello there, you are going to join me on a trip to the Big Goodwill in Lancaster, PA. The first thing that I spied was a matching candle holder to the one that I'd found a couple days ago. So I was very excited that now I have a pair to sell instead of just a single. This was a shelf of some vintage hobbyist pieces. There was this really, really big Santa piece that I pulled out and it was okay. Um, it was neat that he had a musical box in his toy sack but I just didn't really like the look on his face really that much and that the music box would need to be fixed up. And then there was this really big, I think it was maybe for like cookies in the middle or maybe chip and dip, probably most likely chip and dip. And then it, there was a Mrs. Claus. I went back later and someone had grabbed all of them. So that was great. On the floor near the Christmas stuff was a Donnie and Marie 45 record box. And these do sell well. I'll put up some sold comps here in a second. But there was damage to the inside. I don't really deal with records. If the box itself was in really good shape, I probably would have picked it up. I wanted to show you this really, really, really tall nutcracker. It was very, very big. And it was originally $14.99 and they were selling it, or $14.88, excuse me, and they were selling it for $7. It was very tall. This caught my eye mostly because of the graphics and I knew it was old. It also had an antique mall tag on it at one time. We see that from time to time at this Goodwill that there are vintage items that have tags that look like they're from antique malls. This was a box, I thought it was all together, but I think they just put them in this box to keep it maybe safe because there were some things with lids. It was nice to see that they were using rubber bands and not tape, so I thought that was different. There really wasn't anything in there that I thought I needed or would like to sell, so I, after I dug around in it and realized everything was separate, separately priced, I left it there. Here was another sugar bowl, but it had some wear on the paint on the beak, so I left that there as well. And I'm seeing what these are. They look like little, um, maybe butter pats. And then I realized how full the shelves were. The shelves were crazy, crazy full. Look how much stuff there is. Sometimes you'll see that, that the shelves are just jammed, packed, and then they'll go through and they will toss the stuff into a bin because there is a bins outlet next to this one and I don't know if that's what they were doing at this time because there was a bin that was very very full. Here's some salt and pepper shakers checking those out seeing if they have a mark on them and let's see what else see how crowded it is I'm trying to be careful I don't want to break anything. Those dishes are still there the china and then I found this and I had just sold the one I had gotten at Avondale. Now this one is different from the one in Avondale. This one has holes in the bottom. So this one I believe is more of a hobbyist piece and the one I got in Avondale might have been a left in piece. I'm not sure. This was $20. It was extremely heavy. It was glass and it was tall and it was artsy. So I wanted to show that to you. This is a piece of Lennox. It's made in the USA. It has sold comps from ranging from $12 up to $25. It's a beautiful, large platter, great for Christmas cookies or holiday cookies. You know I grabbed these because the Fenton sticker was on it. And it turns out these are lids to trinket dishes. So one of them is painted and the top one is not. I thought they were still pretty. You could still use them as a display or a paperweight, even if they don't have the bottoms to the trinket boxes. Here's a really heavy owl for $3.99. And they had this really nice picnic basket. It was very large. It didn't even fit on the shelf. It was a nice basket and it was only $3.99. So that would have been a good deal if you needed a picnic basket. These I thought would be good for a Thanksgiving table. I believe they were marked $1.99 each. And Sometimes I feel like this whenever I'm folding laundry, like it's never going to end. Oh gosh. These were marked $9.99 each, which I thought was crazy because here is a sold comp 
and the sold comp is two for $19.90. So I think $10 a piece was a little high. And this was neat, but if I'm remembering, let's see, I think there was something wrong with it. Or maybe I thought $4 was pretty high for one candlestick, one candle holder, not candlestick holder. <laughs> I've been told not to say that. So I left that there. This was some art pottery. Those two pieces were attached. And here is that BBP, Beaumont Brothers Pottery Croc with a snowman with a light inside. Look at that. Only $2.99. I had recently picked up an Amberina dish here at this Goodwill, so I thought, oh gosh, look, it's another Amberina dish, but I was checking to see if the, the paint was flashed on, and it is. See, if you hold it up to the light, you can see those little flecks of paint missing, so it was pretty, but I did leave it there. This grabbed my attention because, well, it's Noritake, but it grabbed my attention because it doesn't have the typical pond scene of the boat or the you know, the tree, it's really bright and colorful. It has a nice, um, that came off. Um, it has a nice bright orange and yellow with a blue flower. I don't really see this that often, so that's why I grabbed that. And then here I'm just looking through the smalls on the end cap. There's a little basket of Easter. It seems that the Goodwills are keeping Easter out year round. This was cute, I think it was a candle from 1976. And then that was a candle also. And then the tree in the back was also a candle. Just being nosy, flipping everything over because you never know. And then this caught my eye. I say that a lot, but it did. It caught my eye, grabbed my attention. <laughs> this has a Made in Italy sticker on it. Very, very vintage looking. I like the raised design on the outside of it. I like that it still had the Made in Italy sticker on it. And then I also liked this, and even though this might not sell for very high, I, a reason why I liked it was because the black paint on the back of it was not worn. Sometimes you see these and the black paint is worn off. This does not glow, unfortunately, under a UV light, but I think it would be pretty on your table, and you could keep it there all the way through March for St. Patrick's Day because everyone is Irish. This I grabbed because I have a set of these that are yellow and green, but one of the green ones was very chipped. And I thought, oh look, I can now finish the set. I love these. Who else loved these? I love these candles. It smells amazing. So I grabbed this cake candle. I love this cake candle brand. I used to get them all the time in the early 90s. So... We are currently using that and enjoying it. And let's see what else. Oh, this was a box of candles. Looking for more Lucite candles. <laughs> this was pretty, but not pretty enough for me to grab. I don't know why. Oh, because it was sticky. Yes, it had a weird sticky thing on the lid. This was a little turtle with Avon. And next to it, you see another antique mall sign this says wagon and horses for $35 this is a Chisholm trail if it had the horses I would have grabbed it because with the horses the sole comps are high and then I like this this is kind of common it probably was made in China I don't believe it's Murano Italian nothing or other and it was five dollars but it, it's very very pretty and the stopper is not chipped or missing I thought it was very pretty so I just bought it based on its looks then I was excited to find these. This is a little box of shiny bright miniature ornaments. I did put that in with some of the Christmas stuff from the recent auction I went to. So those are already listed in an auction lot. Here's a cute little bunny rabbit. And then I'm just looking at the rest of the shelves because they were so full. I was afraid that maybe I would miss something, that something was beautiful and amazing was buried in this box but I really didn't find anything else except for this little kitty cat. It probably once held toothpicks. It's so sweet, and it was just like the expression on its face. It was just like, take me home. So I did. It's adorable.
tiny little kitty cat. And then I wanted to see if these salt and pepper shakers were anything exciting. I thought this might be another Beaumont Brothers piece. But then when I noticed the chip on the back of it, I didn't investigate any more to see if, if it was Eldrith or Beaumont Brothers. Here's more of the Christmas. So much Christmas. And then this was turned with the back facing out. So I turned it around and I saw that it was a hobbyist piece and it is a, like a Yule log and you could put flowers in it or you could put candy canes in it. You could put lots of stuff in there and I thought that was cute. Then this had a, a Hebrew on it and said Happy Hanukkah. So I pulled it out to see what it was. It said Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. And I believe it was a pillow cover because it had a zipper and it was a square. So that's what I figured it was, not a purse. Here are a whole bunch of ornaments. They were individually priced. And then on the bottom of the shelving unit was another big box of hobbyist pieces. And they were bright orange. Everything was orange. And I liked the color because I like orange. And written on the box was uh, soup cups and saucers. The whole box was $6.99. And uh, there were a lot of pieces in there. So I did not get them, but I thought they were interesting that someone took the time to have like covered soup bowls. And then this was a set of china that was marked uh, Czechoslovakia. And it was a nice set. They had a sugar and the coffee pot and the cups and saucers. And then right when I was about to leave... <laughs> I saw this candle and thought of Jocelyn because if she was with me, she would have stuck her finger in there because she likes to touch the squishy candles. Coming up next, I wanted to share a clip of footage uh, that Jenny took. <clears throat> I had cleared off our table, so that's why all the food is on the counter behind me. And Susie, our Shih Tzu, is part cat. And so she loves being in my lap. So she jumped up on my lap and then jumped up on my shoulder. And this is what Jenny recorded. So she's just sitting on the with her front paws on the back of the chair and I'm holding on to her tail gently. I'm not hurting her. And she's just hanging out with her front paws basically on the edge of the chair. And Jenny and I thought it was hilarious. This dog is the quirkiest dog we have ever owned. We love all of our dogs. She is just she's a trip. She just she just sat there for a while there until she got a little too investigated in the bananas. And so we finally did pull her up off the chair, but you can see how much she's just a love bug. She would just hang out there. If it food's involved and you're holding her, that's her happy place. I hope you enjoyed that little footage of Susie. Here are the items that I picked up at the Goodwill on this shopping trip. I really appreciate you watching this video and supporting my channel. I am loving reading the comments from the hat video. I like reading the memories of, oh, I remember when my mom had that or my grandma had that or you wore that. That's one of the amazing things I love about starting this channel is the memories and comments that you share with me and with the other viewers. I appreciate it all so, so, so much. So I hope you enjoyed this video as well. I hope you have a really good day. And I'll see ya.